When talking about the virtue of religion, there's two aspects that, that must be emphasized uh, and that we must keep in mind all the time. The first aspect is that it is a natural virtue. It belongs, the virtue of religion belongs to our normal, regular, daily human moral life. The other aspect is in fact the answer to the question can we be obliged, can we be forced to adore, as it is a part of justice? So it defines a necessity in our life. Can we be forced to adore and must we be punished by someone if we do not adore? We'll try to find the answer to that question in the next episode, whereas in this one I want to discuss this aspect of the natural virtue. Religion is a natural virtue. Adoration and the practice of religion is a virtue that is necessary for our lives just because we can actually discover that God exists. We've seen that. And for Christian people, it may seem a bit overdone to distinguish between religion and faith. It might not be relevant, but in fact, it's very, very important. We must always check our Christian life to see whether we really distinguish well religion from faith. You could say it in another way, we should, we should always refresh our faith in Christ by going to St. John the Baptist in the desert. We must always check whether we understand what is the virtue of religion which we must distinguish from faith. Why? First of all, we must never forget that Christ is God. He is an eternal Son of God, so He is God Himself. And the divine nature cannot be emphasized sufficiently. And so, with respect to Christ, if we believe in Him, we owe Him the respect of the divinity. We owe, to, we owe him to pay him tribute as God, to adore him. Rendering justice to God is necessary because we can discover him and so adoration is necessary. And this is therefore also necessary if we believe that Jesus Christ is God. We must adore him. On the other hand, not only must we direct our virtue of religion to Christ to check whether he's really God for us, but also when we look at Christ, because Christ is not just God, he is also man. So he adores his father. The virtue of religion in Christ actually is taken up, if you like, is in union to the mystery of the Holy Trinity. That is, the adoration as a human being of Christ is taken up into the eternal mystery of the relationship of the Son to the Father. And in or we, of course, we don't understand what the Trinity, Holy Trinity is, but we can learn to live from this mystery and get closer to this mystery 
and live from the mystery of the Holy Trinity as a, as a source of our life and as our real home where we are heading for, we can learn that by learning from Christ, adoring his Father. By Christ, obeying religious law. From Christ, by all his deeds of religion. Because that's where we understand what he is as man. And we can affirm that in fact all he does as the son of man in his virtue of religion, in his exercise of religion, in his deeds of religion, is actually taken up, is seen by God himself into the eternal light of divine glory. In order to, to understand both the divinity and the humanity of Christ, we need to distinguish between the virtue of religion and the virtue of faith, which is part of our return to God, is part of our life which is towards the Holy Trinity. The discovery of the existence of God is not just a matter of the intelligence, it's also a matter of the heart and the free will. And it's even touching our existence as persons with a body and a soul. Because the discovery of God is not just that he exists in eternity, but that to make God the aim of your life is the, the freest act you can pose. And it's the most meaningful um, direction you can give to your life, is returning to God, the orig origin of all things. And also, being in this physical world, being an embodied spirit. We can ask God why he puts us here and wonder how in this world um, we find the means to return to God. What way, what path do I have to go in order to return to God? The discovery of God concerns our whole being. And therefore, if we do not adore, we become split personalities. We disintegrate as a human person. Whereas adoration puts us in front of God in everything we are. It unites all the aspects of our life. Because adoration is the supreme deed of our natural life. It is the eminent deed of our, our human life in this world. And the virtue of religion is, because it is towards God, is the highest virtue we can acquire in this life. It is the summit of our human nature. Thank you.